how to save high quality image files in Illustrator is coming up next. Hey guys, this is Ankit from the guys computer and this is the second video of playlist learn Adobe Illustrator. Now in this video, first we will be looking at how to save high quality image files and then later on will explore the file menu options. So this is the image which I want to save in high quality. So first of all, we will click on file and then we will go to export. Here we will get three options, but to export it in PNG or JPEG, we will simply click on export as. Now here you have to write name it and then you can select the extension. Now, if you select PNG, then while clicking export, it will give you some options. If you need a larger file with higher quality one, then you can select it. Otherwise, if you want this file for web page, then you can select 72 PPI. Apart from that, you can select anti-aliasing, which is used to fix the staircase effect in an image. So you can set it default. Now, if you select interlaced, then this function will make your image load in step by step. Like first blurry one, then it will load a fully one in a slow internet connection. Other than that, you can change the background to transparent or white. But make sure if you need a transparent background, then your background layer must be unchecked. For example, right here, I have enabled this background layer as gray. Now I will go to export as and as soon as I will click on export. Now you can see even in transparent mode, I can see the background. So make sure you hide the background layer. Now if you want the file in JPEG, then select JPEG and click on export. Now you will get the options such as color mode where you can select and if you drag this slider to the right, you will get the highest quality file with a larger file size. In the compression method, these also compress the image in such a way that whenever this image will load in a slower internet connection, in the baseline, it will load step by step, like line by line. However, in the progressive option, it will load the full file at an instant, but then it will be a little bit blurry one till the browser download the full file. Now we have the resolution for screen, 72 PPI is fine. For printing purpose, select 300 PPI. Other than that, there is the anti-aliasing is fine. If you have a graphic, then you can select R optimized. And if you have type, then it is it will fine. And make sure to check this embed ICC profile in order to get the whole information about the colors. After that, you can select OK. Now, there is the another option to export save for web here you have this interface where you can select from the presets such as png files jpeg and all other options we have other options such as width height now at the hundred percent the file will be whole full and you can even increase the percentage and it is increasing the image size as well now if i check this mark clip to artboard here it will take the whole artboard and if you want just the image file just uncheck this and you will get the image file now you can click on save and your task will get done now the next option in export is export for screens where we have two tabs one is artboard which is for exporting artboards. We have got a couple of options here such as all and range. If you want only one, one and two only, then it will select the range. And then we have got the full document. Okay, so this full document is treating the whole three artboards as one. Now after that, we can select the location. You can also create sub folders as scale or format. And then we have the format option. For example, if you want it as PNG and then if you want another as JPEG, then you can select set these as well. And you can choose the scale. 1x is for the normal size, whereas 2x and 3x will multiply the original size. And then you have got the naming option as well, which you can select 
there at the prefix you can add your own prefix guys after that you can click on export artboard then it will export it now next tab is exporting asset for that you have to first click on asset export panel and here you just simply have to select and drag that's how it will work and after that when you click on export it will export your assets and if you are interested in learning the whole basics of Adobe Illustrator then there is a video which you can check from the card above now we will be exploring the first option in the file menu the first one is the new while clicking on that you will see a lot of options here you can select the document size document unit orientation color mode and pixel density as well after that we have got new from template this option will help you to open a new document from the pre-designed templates for example if you want to create a banner ads then click on that and you will find the template by Adobe similarly you can save your own template as well then we have got the open option next one is open recent file where you can check your recent works after that we have the option of browsing bridge now guys bridge is a content management software of Adobe which helps in exploring the files and it does a lot of other stuff after that we have close option the first one will close the current doc document whereas close all will close all the documents then we have got the save and save as options now this is a new document and when i click on save it is giving me two options first one is cloud documents and another is on your local computer so if you want to access it anywhere you can select save to cloud documents and you can also get a copy on your local computer now i clicked the save on cloud option and if i wanted to save it on my computer then simply click on your computer and then again i have the option here to save cloud document here you have to add the file name and then you can select the type of that file after that we have got save as which will make a copy of your document in a different name and then we have save a copy option which is for the backup now the other option is for save selected slices for that first we have to slice this image here is the slice tool and I will slice this now we have got save selected slices enabled when I click on that it wants to S1 it will export that slice on the desktop or wherever you need now, this is the slice which I have got here after that the next option is version history this option is available for the documents which you had saved in cloud for example if I click on here it will load the previous changes on this particular document as you can see the time and date at 2 22 p.m. this was a simple smiley however at 7 28 p.m. background of the document was removed so this is very handy feature if you do a lot of tasks and lot of updation on your artwork then we have an option to save as template here you can save a particular template for your work for example if we can see on the pre-designed templates we have got a t-shirt template if we will open this and we have this artwork already designed the next option is revert one which was always faded out and i wasn't able to try it out while searching on google i found out that we can revert a file to the last saved version but not if you have closed and then reopened the file it generally helps a document to revert in the previous state but i did not found the working of this option apart from that we always have that undo option which you can simply use by ctrl z 
After that, we have the search Adobe stock. If you love to use images and other multimedia files from the internet. So guys, let's explore the place options. First, we click on place. After that, we will find a photograph or whatever object we want to place in it. Now, there are a few options. First one is open cloud document, which if you have one, then you can use this. After that, we have link option, then template, then replace, and then show import option. If we click on link, then it will link this photograph from the original source, thus by making your document lesser in size. However, if I uncheck this link, option then it will directly copy the original file to the document as per my research now after that you have got the template option for example if you wanted to draw an artwork from your drawing so you can use this image as a map make sure to check mark on template and then click on place now here as you can see it is in less opacity and now you can draw anything above it now if we have an image already in the document and we want to replace it then we will be using the replace option and after that we have show import options which helps in displaying import options as per the adobe document after that we have the export options which we already had seen and then we have the export selection to export an object which is selected to use the package option you first have to select all the objects of your document this helps in making a complete package of your whole project if I will click on package and I will make it and then it will save the whole information if I had used a font it will copy that font then if you have some image or any other object it will be copying it now after that it will have a detailed report about the document which is quite handy and then we have got scripts now scripts are an important feature of adobe illustrator which helps in automation for example if i want to export this document as a flash then i can use this script now if you are a programmer then you can create your own script however i have downloaded a script file this is the file which i got here right here it's .js to use it first you have to copy this file and then you have to paste it into program files then adobe illustrator presets and under enus you have to find scripts here i have pasted this file and i actually renamed its extension as .jsx now after that i have four objects and then I will go to the scripts option and I have found adjust dashes. Now I will click on that option and here you can see the effect. Now we have a lot of other script files available as well. Now after that the next option is document setup where we will find option regarding units. We can also set the bleed. To understand bleed it's an area which will be cut by the printing machine now there is an option so images in outline mode if you check this option then whenever you will place an image when I am in outline mode then we can see the image if I turn that option off then this image will vanish apart from that we have highlight substituted glyphs glyph are the replacement of text for example we have a glyph option from type and then we will find glyphs here now these are some special characters i need this sign instead of l so i will select it and then i will double click on this yen now this is the glyph as per my understanding as you can see here it has highlighted the glyph and if you are experiencing some yellow yellow highlighted options then you can uncheck this and it must go after that we have the transparency and overprint options where we have grid size grid colors and if you want simulate color paper i need a blue color background and after that and then click ok and then after clicking on layers the background is blue then we have got discard white overprint in output now the guys i was unable to understand this thing at all 
but what I understood the overprint is an area for example this is a blue box and this is a the black box now whenever printing this image printer will print half of this blue and then it will directly print the black one what is under that it will neglect it if you want to print both the colors then now here we have got the attribution window of this object from window and then attribute now i will click on overprint fill and then under the view i will go and the, to overprint preview as you can see the impact of printing them over each other so this is how it works but uh, i seriously was unable to figure out discard white overprint in output it makes the sense that if there is a white overprint it will discard as per my understanding and if you will be able to understand this more simply then let me know in comments now after that we have the type options where if you check mark the use typographers quotes then these quote style will be followed as we can see when i click on go to document setup and set the double quotes as the angle brackets it works but whenever i switch on to the bigger angle brackets and let's try these out it doesn't work which if you find out then make sure to let me clarify now we have the document color mode where we can change the color style either cmyk or rgb next we have got the file info while clicking on that you will see a lot of information but most of the time it will be empty depending on the data when i opened a photograph directly then i got some camera information the next one are print options first we have got the print preset where you can define your own settings and then save it after that we have got the printer now you will be selecting your printer which will be cool but if you select adobe post script file now the next option which was logged before had been enabled now this post script file is a file which had been saved in a post script format and this post script is a programming language designed by adobe now where is it used well according to google it can be used for post script printers which are very high end printers now after that we have some general settings where you can select the number of copies check mark the reverse order and a lot more after that there is an option for marks and bleed guys have you ever seen such kind of marks on a paper these are the printer marks if you want these then you can check mark these all and then we have the bleeds now we have the output options which depends on the printer after that we have the graphics option where you can select the quality or speed now we have the color management option where color handling is done by illustrator but if you want to edit these settings i will recommend you to read first this adobe article now rendering intent as per the adobe article is a process how the illustrator will do a color management to the printer's output for those images whose file information is missing that's how i got from this article which definitely you can give a look other than that if you check mark the preserved rgb numbers then it will directly sending the color information to the printer without converting them after that we have the advanced option where if you want to print it as bitmap you can do it and we already have seen the overprint which had been discarded and if you want a higher resolution then you can select this one and you have more custom settings now in the end we have the summary and then you can simply click on print in the end guys we have the exit option in the file menu so this was my understanding on adobe illustrator and if i have misunderstood something let me know correct me in comments and guys if you are watching this video till then which background did you liked the most this natural one or the inside inside one anyway check on to the playlist learn adobe illustrator and subscribe if you want to learn more of adobe illustrator with me thank you and goodbye